because it ain't just super. It's it ain't super just duper. Super. And they said this is the biggest, and they said this is even bigger than last year. So can you imagine what 2021 is going to bring? It's going to be crazy. That was almost a year ago at the Tampa RV Super Duper show. And a month later, we were officially full-time RVers. And the same day we pulled away from our house was the day that the virus was named. And our one month anniversary of being full-timers, the virus was uh, declared a pandemic. Now, here we go again. Uh, the Tampa RV Super Duper Show is happening in about a month and a half. Yeah, last year, as we were preparing to go to the Tampa show, Alice was so pumped up <laughs> to go to it. We had been watching video after video and like the live streams. We were watching like every live stream out there. Everybody was talking about the Tampa show. We had just gotten into this whole RV YouTube mm -hmm. thing. So we were pumped and, and then I came to Alice and I said, you know, I don't feel well. I don't think we could go to the show. And I'm telling you, it's like I just like told her she wasn't gonna have a birthday party. It was it was pretty bad. But you know, I persevered and we decided to go and it ended up being an awesome experience and a great way for us to take off on our full-time RV adventure. So that's what this video is about. We're gonna talk about, you know, last year's the RV Super Show. Yep. We're gonna talk about uh, things that you can do there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk a lot about whether or not it's a good idea to go to the 2021 show and what to expect at the 2021 RV Super Show. Super duper show. Super duper show, sorry. <laughs> good to see you guys again. But if this is your first time, I'm Alice. And I'm Larry. And we are downsized and make sense like the penny. And we are two 50 something empty nesters who went, like I said, full time mid February in this grand design with our two pups. One of them sleep over there because we wanted to live life more deliberately. So, what is an RV super show? Well, take like that local RV show that you go to near your hometown and multiply it times like 50. It's crazy. Every RV manufacturer is there. If they make RVs, they're going to be at the show and you're going to be able to see the entire assortment of RVs that they make. And then there's a couple of buildings just full of all that RV gadgets and stuff. I love that stuff. What I love is the carnival circus atmosphere. There are literally clowns there and there's performers and music and food and games. But the other thing that I love is that there's a bunch of other RVers just camped out there for two or three days. Yeah. There's a super rally section that you can get hookups. We didn't make it to that one. And there's the dry camping section, which we wound up doing. Um, and you're just parked by a bunch of RVers. And that's what was part of the great thing is we met up with other RVers and we got to meet big RV YouTube channels. And we went to this RV uh, YouTuber meetup and they did this little game. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Like the Rosary Room had this event at the Phoenix RV and we actually tried to put as many people as possible into a small class C. I don't think we're gonna be doing that this year, no. but we had, I think we had 23 people in a small class C, that was a lot of fun. But you know, crazy stuff like that, that's yeah. what happens at the show. Yeah, it's a great time. So how do we think this year will be different than last year? Hmm. Well, I think all the RV manufacturers, all the big ones are gonna be there with mm -hmm. all of their RVs mm -hmm. and all those little parts and gadgets and all that stuff. I think they're all gonna be in the buildings. I think they're gonna have to have some restrictions on people yeah. in the buildings. But other than that, I think it should be very similar. Yeah, in fact, they had the super uh, rally section and, and once again, it's all sold out. So a lot of people are going. They still have the dry camping section where you can just pull in and find a spot. But the big difference is last year, it seemed there were a lot of advertisements for you being able to meet RV YouTubers. And I haven't seen anything about that this year. So I have no clue who's going to be there. Yeah, Alice was on a mission to meet every RV YouTube channel that was there doing meetups and stuff. And we met a lot of them. It was actually really cool because we had just started our YouTube channel. It was a lot like when I was a parent and I had to have the kids meet Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Why are we thinking about going this year since we've already gone to one of these before? Well, one is because we've already gone to one of these before and we know how awesome they can be. Plus, now that we're more experienced YouTubers, we kind of feel like we're supposed to go if we're in the area. 
Uh, there's lots of things that we want to film uh, for you guys, and there are reasons we want to go for ourselves. Yeah, and we are really still seriously looking at getting a truck camper someday for an upcoming Alaska trip, which I don't think is going to be 2021, but maybe the next year. So that's definitely on our radar. And we're still looking to downsize. I mean, if you've seen our videos about our rig, it's a little bit big. We love fifth wheel. So we're going to be looking at a lot of those um types of fifth wheels that are in that size range we want to downsize yeah to. i kind of would like to go down to like a 29 i know that doesn't sound a lot a lot but 29 would help and there's a bunch of gadgets i still want to check out because i love doing those gadget videos mm -hmm. and i got to find some gadgets to do the videos on and we got to find a lighter canoe i'm sick of picking up that big old heavy canoe yeah i got to find a way to put the canoe on the truck mm -hmm. while pulling it with the rv so that's definitely something else that i'm looking for yeah now, the website for the RV Super Show says that they're going to take extreme precautions mm -hmm. to protect everybody while they're at the show. Now, when we were in Canada, they really took COVID seriously up there. So we have a lot of practice in social distancing, mm -hmm. wearing masks, hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And we'll be using all that at the show. Yes. And we are, of course, going to be um, self-contained in our RV. So we'll be using our own bathrooms. Um, we will be only eating our own food. Um, even though we'll be in that parking lot with other people, we know how to social distance. Um, we got Larry bought a super long selfie stick. I got the mega stick. It's like six feet long. So if you want to take a picture with somebody, we could still be yes. far away from each yes. other. And of course, uh, we know how to quarantine for two weeks because we did it in Canada and we already have a spot picked out. So after the super show, we're going straight to our quarantine spot for two weeks. Yeah. We're just going to chill out by ourselves. Yeah. So we may not go to the super show and why? Well, to tell you the truth, it's mainly because of me. Um, I'm not comfortable in big crowds. I avoid them like crazy. And uh, this super show every year has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And we already know, you know, the super rally section is sold out. So obviously it's gonna be really big. And they canceled the Hershey show, which is the other one that's supposed to be the biggest Tampa show. So um, I'm a little nervous about going. And a lot of my friends that I met last year aren't going. Some of them are still going. So, you know, I want to see them. But I'm just a, a nervous Nelly. And, um, but Larry uh, really wants to go. So I'm pumped to go this year. I'm, as, long as, I, as long as I feel good before we head off for the trip, I am pumped for the trip. Okay, now it's your turn. You've been listening to us go on and on. Now, uh, we want to know what you think about this whole situation. I started with a poll on our community page on YouTube. And I asked, are you going to the Tampa RV show? And it was yes, no, maybe, and comments. Now, I didn't get a lot of comments, but I got 65% of people saying they're not going. Now, only a few people told me they're not going because they're not in the area. So I'm thinking there are a lot of other reasons why they're not going. Now you also got some pretty interesting comments yeah. on that poll. So we really want to hear yeah. in the comments to this video and on Instagram and Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, what do you think about there even being a Tampa show? Mm -hmm. Do you think we should go? Are you going? Mm -hmm. um, we want to hear a discussion about that and helping us make this decision about going to the show. Yes. Also, in case we are going, um, please let us know in the comments here or again on Instagram or Facebook um, if there's an RV because you can't go uh, that you want us to do a tour of. I saw people did that last year, some um, the last RV show. A lot of YouTubers did that. And we'll try our best that if there's a specific uh, RV that a lot of people want to see that we'll take a tour of it. Yeah, so we are not big live stream people. We've never done a live stream. You can see And that why. seems to be a big thing that people go to the show and do live streams. And they walk around, they do the RVs, and people really enjoy that. I mean, if, if, if people are into that, maybe we'll have to give it a try, but we've never done the live stream thing. The other thing is that if you do go to the show and you run into us, how do we interact? Yes. Okay, we, obviously we're not doing hugs, right? Yeah. I don't think we can do handshakes. Yeah, so, so we got to figure out, like, what's the protocol here as yeah. far as going through that? I know we got the big selfie stick, so we can do, like, yeah. the wide-angle selfie stick thing, but that's something that we need to work out. Yeah, because we definitely want to say hi. Um, yeah. We have actually been spotted a couple times, and I was so thrilled that someone actually recognized us. So we would love it if, if you saw us, even if it's from a distance. Say hi, yeah. you know, and that's enough. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching this video. This is definitely a little different than content that we normally put out, 
but we are really on the fence about going to the Tampa show this year. We had an unbelievable experience last year. All the people we met, all the stuff that we saw, and we didn't want to miss out on that, but we figured we'd put it out to you guys and see what you think about going to the show. Yes, you can still take the poll on our community page, or you can leave comments on this video on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, so if you like this kind of stuff we do, RV tours, uh, DIY stuff, things like that, if you're into all that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to our channel. Now, I'm also going to leave a link to a video over here. It's a video that we made right after the last Tampa show. It's one of our early videos, so check that out. Have a laugh. And remember, <laughs> downsizing makes sense.